San Francisco for a little walk here. <clears throat> I've got a camera that I can use outside. And do some walking around a little. I'm not sure if you can see or not, but it's, it's starting to uh, thin out somewhat. Yeah. That's how close I am to the road in and out of here, though. That's why we hear the traffic a lot. And there's the ranger station right over there, so you gotta watch my P's and Q's somewhat. <laughs> All I gotta do is look out the window. So, that's the main road over there. It's Highway 95. That one goes down to Yuma. Some solar panels. The Blue Eddy. Uh, it will only handle 200 watts. Anything more than that, then it starts to overheat. So they say 200 watts max, 8 amps. That's it. But, you know, it's enough for me. You know, it's kind of early in the morning a little bit. So the generator's running, sorry. I can barely hear it nowadays. somebody's trash over there under that tree or bush oops there's the wind my house slippers on so the rocks are playing havoc with my feet. <laughs> There's the trailer. We got some stuff in it. Before I leave here I gotta clean some stuff out. Yeah. And my water barrel. Two six gallon water jugs. And there's the washing machine. That's my Julka hot water heater. I love that thing, boy. It works really well. You got a nice thermostat on it, make it hot or lukewarm, whatever I want. Uh, and it heats up really quick. I don't very little wait time on hot water And there's the shower tent what's left of it the wind took it The other day we had 60 mile an hour winds and it just grabbed the hold of it and took it off Ripped it all up Okay, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, I can't see what's going on behind me, so... Uh, the tent is definitely lived in. <laughs> uh, it's not all spartan and clean all the time. You know, it gets cluttered quickly. So, how can I say? No use hiding it. So... Uh, I got a camera so I can, uh, you know, do some videos now, you know, uh, before it was, you know, using the laptop camera was just terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Um, the truck, I uh, took it to the mechanic the other day. Uh, it started knocking, making some noise, like lifter noise, I thought. It wasn't ticking. It was more of a, of a knocking sound. Um, so anyway, I took it down to down to uh, uh, the mechanic down down the road there, ways, and um, uh, he has a, a very good reputation from everybody that I've talked to around here. He's honest and, and fair, and uh, he knows his stuff. So 
Anyway, he listened to it, and he said, that's, uh, that's rod knock. You got some rod knocking. So, uh, rods knocking. <laughs> uh, anyway, he said, you know, it's not real bad right now, but uh, eventually I'm going to have to, to uh, replace the bearings. Um, he said it, it sounded to him like it was just sort of getting started doing it, you know. Uh, I've got to change some bearings, I guess, some bearings. He said he could do that, but, you know, it's not recommended. If you're going to change the bearings, change them all at one time. So uh, he's not able to do it before April 15th. And some of you know that April 15th, I have to leave here. Everybody has to leave here. So either that or, you know, go stay at a two-week place and then move every two weeks. But, you know, by then it's over 100 degrees. And, I, you know, i got to head for the mountains with that. So anyway, he said to get some oil, 20W50, and then a quart of uh, honey, motor honey. I can't think of the name of it at the moment. Anyway, it's really thick oil. And uh, we, we changed the oil and the filter and put that oil in it. And it, it helped it uh, a bit, but not a whole lot. I still hear it. It still got rod knock. Uh, so... Anyway, I told him that I was going to have to use it to go to the mountains, and he did just, you know, it's not so much pulling a big heavy load, it's trying to raise the RPMs up, trying to go fast. They try to keep it down around 2,500 RPM. That should be okay for a while. But if you think you can, you know, start racing around it with it, raising RPMs way up on it, throw it into passing gear and all that stuff, you know, to get... You can destroy rods really quick. So, uh, it's just going to be a long, slow ride up there, I guess. Probably what I'll do is, is stop in, Pisa, uh, uh, in Phoenix or, or Mesa somewhere, get a motel for the night, and then get up early and then head up the hill. But it's still pretty cool. So, Anyway, I guess that's kind of about all the news there is. I can't think of anything else, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, uh, live streams. Try to do it on a Monday. Try to do Monday Monday night live streams again. Monday night chaos. See ya. Talk to you later.